Hey what's up everyone, it's been a long time since my last video. I had a few months break from Tibia, but I am back with a new ideas and new spirit. During my absence there have been some changes in monster drops, raids and new content arrived along with summer update. Looking back at my videos, it looks like it might be time to showcase hunting spots for level 200 and plus. During this series, I will be checking all the good spots from my all previous videos to give you some ideas what is still viable and what's not. And today I've got 4 spots for you. But before we start, hit that like button and subscribe, because I'm sure you will enjoy. So the first spot, Winter Court Elves. We will be starting from Svargrund, we need to get to Tersung, one of the ice islands. Equip yourself with frost protection items, ideally frost mind raiment, which gives magic level along with ice protection damage. If you don't have that kind of money, then go with a good old glacier set. For shield, I suggest equipping mastermind shield, because all those monsters do quite significant physical damage. At least at the beginning, before you get used to the spawn. I showed this respawn in my video for 150 plus characters. So the biggest difference is that now you should be, be able to hunt here without mana shield, which is huge. Mana shield generates such massive waste. Even though Winter Elves were nerfed and now they don't drop that many items anymore, I was still able to profit here. They are weak to fire and earth damage, so if you are druid, use your earth damage spells and sorcerers should focus on the fire damage. When it comes to map layout and how to run here, at first I was clearing the first room on the right, luring monsters around along with those being outside of court. Placing this fire bomb in the entrance helps a lot and prevents from being trapped when getting elves from the outside. So, when you're done here, then run around to the back, luring monsters from outside. Here it's the same idea with the firebomb. So, lastly, I cleared the room on the left. Easily done. That way, I was able to get around 2.4kk with profit, and at that time I still didn't have any charms. I think it's one of the best spawns out there. Let's move on. Oramont West, another old new location. Great experience, but sadly compared to the previous spawn it's a waste. I highly suggest coming here when there is a quarry right. That way you should be getting more experience and another thing, charm points. During right there are 9 different monsters, so a lot of charm points. Prepare earth mitigation items such as gill set, bear skin or even earth might raiment if you can afford it. If you're poor then go away old terra set, that should be good enough. For supplies, I suggest taking a mixed set of runes, something like 70 to 30 ratio, thunderstorms and great fireballs. All quarrels are vulnerable to energy and earth type of damage. Since the rest of the monsters here are resistant to earth, then energy is our pick here. Use great fireballs only when you find yourself in a situation where blood beasts and devourers are mainly on screen. If not, then spam those thunderstorms. It's the same with the spells. Druids should be using Ice UE and Sorcerer's Energy ones, along with Energy Beams. It's such a great place for sorcerers. And doing circles like those here, I was able to keep up with 2.2kk per hour. Depending on your gear and skills, and of course charm points, this number might be different. The third one. This is a completely new spot added with the 2020 summer update. Where hyenas. The best part is that you don't need any quest to access this place. 
so the lo it's located near the city, so running back for supplies just takes 8 seconds. I highly suggest taking death protection along with some earth protection items, where Hiena shamans cast some kind of earth spells. So guild set is welcome here. They are somehow similar to what you can find near Edron in Were Creature Cave, but they definitely hit harder and instead of fire damage, you'll be using avalanches along with ice spells, especially druids, they're gonna shine in this place. Sorcerers should focus on energy spells. When it comes to layout, the whole place looks like a multiple rooms connected with a small corridors. As you can see, there's not much space to run, so be prepared for physical mitigation items, as you will be hit quite often when running around. Pay attention in those big rooms, because it's so easy to get trapped, and if that happens, then God helps you. But jokes aside, just use your energy ring. Because when surrounded, they can easily one-shot you. Each hyena gives 2.2k experience points. Given the path I followed, I was able to get around 2kk per hour, but I'm sure that you can get even more here. I don't have that much time to explore this place and figure out the best path. So there's a room for improvements here, that's for sure. I'll keep exploring this spawn and maybe I'll do a separate video covering only this single place. I think it has really nice potential, mainly for druids. Moving on to our last spot in this episode, I said to myself, why not check where creatures in Edron as well, and you know what? It turned out to be a good experience and chill spawn at the same time. So where creatures cave in Edron, I showed it on my very first video, there should be a pop up in the upper right corner right now with a link to that material. On levels 100 and plus it was a great experience, but at the same time it was kinda hardcore to hunt there. Now on level 200 and above, you'll be running here like a breeze. For those who somehow haven't heard about that spawn, there are four types of war creatures, were fox, were badger, were boar and were beer. Equip yourself with a death protection and physical protection items. Of course, boost the magical level as high as you can. On level 200 and plus, you're gonna need a whole cave to benefit from that spot. I was running counterclockwise, clearing each room. Don't forget to drag monsters in corridors. At the beginning, you may find this irritating that they run away in a low health, so try to finish them with your ultimate explosion. Accordingly, flame version for mages and eyes for druids. I was getting almost almost 2 millions of experience per hour and you should be profiting as well, so such a nice place. You can even watch Netflix on your second screen while hunting here. And well, that would be it for this episode. This is the end of volume 1. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. I will keep posting more videos like this. If you have any ideas, suggestions or questions, then leave a comment. I'm trying to read every single one. And it's good to be back. So have a nice day and bye bye.